Hey, and how are you doing? So in this short video, I would like to talk about the mines of Dalania and actually the, an opportunity to buy a lands inside that game. And I think this will be quite lucrative for everyone who will be participating in their promotion. So what exactly is happening? Mines of Dalarnia have announced their first land sale. And what and how will that work, I will show you in a really short, short matter. So on their blog actually, you can see the detailed rules, but the main thing is that deposits started already at the end of December. The snapshot of that um, lottery will be starting at 10th of January and finishing at 16th. So that means that we still have time to actually participate in that promotion. So how does it work? The land sale portal will be accessible via their website with mindsofdalarnia.com or and landsale.mindsofdalarnia.com. So you will have to deposit 100 of DAR, which is the Mines of Dalarnia token, BEP20, to register your address and reach the minimum entry requirement to receive tickets in the land sale lottery. Additional tickets to the lottery can be earned by several methods, which I will show you in a second. And the snapshot period begins on the January 10th till January 16th. And from that moment, at the conclusion of the snapshot period, addresses are selected in the lottery format and address chances of being selected are determined by the number of tickets it earned during the snapshot period. So, after that lottery is complete, the selected address will be purchased one mining plot in exchange for 100 DAR they use to register. Additional deposited assets will be then withdrawable by the user. Addresses were not selected will also be able to claim their 100 DAR registration fee. So just to summarize, to start it's 100 DAR, which is around $210 at this moment. You can actually um, stake a bit more, which I'll show you in a second, to get more lottery tickets. So this DAR will give you um, the tickets every day, which are increasing your chances to participate in that promotion. And that while staking, as I mentioned, additional assets increases the chances of being selected in the lottery, but each address can only purchase maximum of one mining plot. So how the lottery ticket amounts are calculated? Depositing 100 DAR tokens will automatically generate 100 tickets per day for the users. Beyond this, staking additional DAR and CHR, which is Chromia, generates additional tickets per day. So for each one DAR or five Chromia deposited, players will get one additional ticket per day. So what I will do right now with you, I will go through the process and you will see exactly how does it work. So. What we'll do right now is I'll just go to um, Binance and I'll buy a hundred and one dar to uh, actually be able to uh, deposit to my um, MetaMask after. So this is what we'll do. I will show you step by step how to buy dar, how to deposit that in your MetaMask through BSC, and then how to participate in that lottery. So let's do it. So the first thing which you'll need to do, you'll need to log into your Binance, for example, if you're buying on Binance. By the way, if you don't have a Binance account, there is a registration link in the description of this video, so you can actually grab extra perks and off trading fees. After you register and go for KYC, what we'll do, um, I recommend buying with USDT or maybe BUSD. So we'll go to um, Exchange, if you don't have crypto, you can buy it with card. I have also tutorials how to buy crypto with card, so you can just follow one of those tutorials. So in the search box, you need to just search for DAR and it will show you the pairs which is working with. So for example, I'm choosing DAR USDT as USDT is something which I've prepared for myself for um, that uh, promotion. So then you need to change from limit to market, so it's easier to buy thanks to using the current market price, as you know, the price are fluctuating. So with the limit, you might not hit it, it'll take a bit longer to buy it. So with the market, it's pretty easy to do it. So I prepared myself like $336 for it, which is just something which I have on my tutorials account, and then I'll buy DAR for it. Obviously, the minimum which you'll need is 100 DAR. I'm buying a bit more to show you also how to stake extra DAR, as this is the same way as you would stake Chromia for extra tickets. So I'll put this at 100%, which is 150, 160 DAR. That's awesome. Also, it's good to have a bit more for the fees as well, because you need to send out some and that as well. So now, I, ha I have bought it that right now, so I'll go to my uh, wallet and then fiat spot, because obviously what we need to do right now, we need to withdraw it from Binance to the 
uh, actual address. So, how does it work? If uh, I already have a Mines of Dalarnia, the DAR token, which is awesome, I have 160 of those. After purchasing DAR, what you need to do, you need to go to landsale.minesofdalarnia.com and here you need to connect your MetaMask wallet. Remember that they're only using MetaMask wallet, so no other wallets are actually supported at this moment. So what do you need to do? You need to press, press connect wallet and within connect wallet then put your password or something like that which you have for your wallet to unlock it. After unlocking the wallet, make sure it's on the Binance Smart Chain uh, network. If you don't know how to set up a Binance Smart Chain on the MetaMask, you can just go to that uh, video, which is my tutorial, which explains how to set up a BSC, which is the Binance Smart Chain on MetaMask as a standard. It's on the Ethereum uh, mainnet. The second thing which we need to do, we need to send that DAR to our MetaMask wallet. So. And what do you need to do? You are obviously at this moment at the um, BNB, so when you added your uh, BSC uh, smart chain, so we have that BNB address, right? So I'll copy that to my clipboard. So now we need to withdraw it from Binance to MetaMask. So you press on DAR withdraw, and within that you have uh, DAR Mines of Dalarnia, withdraw to, paste that address which you just copied from the MetaMask. And then within the network, make sure you choose BSC, which is that Binance Smart Chain. And as you can see, the fee of that transaction is 0.12 DAR. So that's why I said to you, always buy a bit more than 100. Don't buy exact 100, because also you have to pay for the fees. So buy at least 101, 102 to have some extra money for that fees to cover, okay? So we'll press that. And then obviously it says the network is selected BSC, please confirm that this is the network you would like to use. And yes, I am sure. This is the one which I got from my mm, MetaMask, so I can actually see that the ending of it is B5, and I can see B5 here, awesome. How much of that DAR I would like to send? I would like to send whole 160, and this will also include this 0.12 DAR network fee. So now I'll press withdraw. And now I need to confirm my transaction. Uh, you probably have the same, you probably have 2FA authenticator or phone verification. I have both, so this is what I'll have to do right now. After uh, completing the transaction, it will say to you that awaiting approval or you know the transaction has been submitted, which is awesome. It will take around five, 10 to half an hour to 30 minutes for this transaction to go through. It needs 15 confirmation through the BSC network to actually arrive at your MetaMask. So after making the withdrawal for the Mines of Dalarnia for the DAR, we need to withdraw some BNB as well. And why is that? Because as it's great that from Binance, while withdrawing the DAR to MetaMask, it will use DAR for a transaction fee. Unfortunately, to move it from MetaMask to the mines of Dalarnia, it will require just a tiny bit of BNB, so I have to send that through. So what I will do, I will go to my BNB, and I can see that I have um, some small amount, which is like um, 0.17, the minimum withdrawal is 0.0078, so I can actually do it, and I will grab my BNB address again, and I will just send some small amount of a BNB to uh, that wallet, as you need to have just a small amount of that BNB on the wallet to cover the transaction, as I mentioned. So I'll do it right now through BSC Binance Smart Chain again, and then I'll confirm. So right now we'll wait for the transaction um, to come through for the DAR and the BNB. So while you're waiting for BNB and DAR to arrive at your MetaMask, what we need to do, we need to add that DAR to your MetaMask as a token itself, because Obviously, uh, sometimes it will appear automatically, but sometimes it won't. Uh, so what you need to do, you need to press import tokens. So when you press import tokens, it will ask you for your token contract address and token symbol. How to grab that? Go, go to CoinMarketCap, this is the best place I would recommend, then search for DAR, Mines of Dalarnia, and right here within the contracts, change from more to Binance Smart Chain, then press copy address, come back to that um, MetaMask, press that import tokens, and then paste that address. Then it says token symbol DAR and token decimal six. I'll press add custom token, and great, I can already see there's 159.88 DAR waiting for me right there. I'll press import tokens, 
and also when I go, go back to my accounts I can already see it I can also see that my BNB have arrived as well so as you can see both of those are here so you need to have a DAR and BNB ready as well so at that moment I go to this landsale.mindsofdalarnia.com I'll scroll down to deposit and withdraw and at this moment it says that I have a connected wallet and 159 of DAR available so I will deposit 159 remember you need minimum 100 for a re registration and then I'll press approve then it will ask me for uh, my password or your password to MetaMask um, to unlock it and confirm the transaction then you need to uh, give permission to access your DAR and as you can see we need that 0.00022 of BNB which is like 11 cents at this moment to confirm uh, that transaction and this is the transaction fee so I'll press confirm and great at this moment I see it's getting approved the transaction is submitted it's already um, going through so we need to wait for the transaction for the amount of DAR to be sent from the MetaMask to that um, land sale to the of Dalarnia. So let's see actually if my MetaMask was it already taken off. Approve the DAR spent. Let's see the assets are still there. So I see that uh, it's not been sent yet. So let me actually refresh the page. This is the first time which uh, actually when you'll be doing it sometimes it might ask you for some additional verification so I'll do it I'll try again to do that so I'll put 159 Great so uh, it looks like that there was a difference in the gas fee so now I'll press confirm and I'll just send it right now and uh, you know that's the kind of sometimes the challenge with uh, you know sending the tokens the gas fee might might change instantly or when a second so it'll take a bit longer to send through this is quite normal so don't worry sometimes you need to try uh, one more time to do it great i can see uh, the deposits have worked so at this moment it states i have a 159 dar stake so this is pretty cool because at that moment I'll be receiving 159 tickets for the lottery in 4 days and 22 hours since the I record that video. And as you can see that's pretty much it. If you want to uh, deposit more DAR you just do it through deposits and when the promotion will finish I'll show you as well how to withdraw it to your um, wallet as well as it will be pretty easy after the promotion but I will summarize that as well so you'll know everything about it. And let me just tell you a bit more about the land sale itself. So what's really cool is that the first sale, which is part of that promotion, will be actually happening on the uh, Terra Prima, which is the first planet in Mines of Dalarnia. Every planet in Mines of Dalarnia game world is sectioned into a grid. Each section represents a mining plot which is represented by an NFT. Players must explore mining plots in order to acquire resources and progress in the game. When they wish to mine a plot do not own, they must pay mining fees to the owner of the land. As an owner of mining plot, you earn revenue when other players pay mine your land. In addition, you can sell ownership of your land and extension the NFT representing it on the open markets. So good luck to you all. As you can see, it's really easy to, to do it. I also posted all the links in the description of this video. This is it. I wish you good luck in uh, that pro promotion and the lottery. I hope that you'll be the lucky ones to win it. If yes, just leave it in the comments. Uh, I won. I was one of those. I want to see how many of you actually had the chance to do that. And well, see you in the next video. Take care.